So today I'm going to be planting my Jerusalem artichokes. It's mid-March. I grew them in the no-dig garden last year. They did fantastically. If you haven't seen my video, go and have a look at that. The yield I got was just amazing, about eight and a half kilos per spot. And I had 30 something spots, so potential about 250 kilos in this one bed. But it did turn out to be a lot more than we needed. Uh, turns out I'm pretty much the only one that likes artichokes in my family. It did upset my wife's stomach a little bit and my son and his girlfriend found the same sort of thing as well. So I'm gonna scale it back. There's no point in doing a whole load of them. So this year, I'm gonna be just doing them in pots, big pots, and I'm gonna put about three nice big tubers per pot. So I'm gonna dig some up now and uh, get them in the pots because they'll be shooting soon. So let's have a look what we got. I'll, I'll pick some of the best ones because I'm, I'm not gonna, I've still got half a bed here. So I, I'll add, like I say, minimum about 200 kilos in this bed. Um, absolutely fantastic they did but i just don't have a need for that lot so here we go they're all shooting already so i'm perhaps a little bit late but they're all starting to shoot so i'm going to get them in like i say i only need about nine tubers i'm going to do three big pots so i'll just pick these all all pretty good tubers and they'll all come well, so that's that's pretty much there, just from that one little patch. I do need to go through this bed and get them all out, otherwise I'm just gonna be inundated with juice and artichokes again this year. So I'll have to go through this, but there we go. Let's take some of these tubers over and get them planted in the containers. Right, so I've, I'm just gonna do these three really big pots these are my biggest pots i think they're about 80 liters um they're definitely bigger than my 60 ones so they're, they're 70 80 liters they're quite a nice big pot so this is all homemade compost in here and all i'm going to do is just add a couple of handfuls of um blood fish and bone just to enrich it a bit i just want to give them a chance to get as big as they can in these pots but like i say really now i've, I've realize it's just me that likes them so there's no point in me doing a big bed for i was gonna increase how many i do and do a few more over in my old potato patch but like i say if, if no one else is eating them but me it's kind of pointless i may as well use that for something else so i'll just give that a bit of a mix in and i've put enough compost in to come to about six or eight inches from the top that's about the sort of depth you want them. Um, and other than that, they'll just pretty much sort of look after themselves. So the idea of putting these three pots like this, it leaves me a bit of a gap in the middle here. So what I'll do is I've got some eight foot posts that are sort of two and a half inches round. So I'll, I'll bang one of those in the middle and also being against the polytunnel frame, which I grow my beans up, I should be able to tie a string round and hold the foliage, stop the pots from falling over. So I'm just gonna pick some nice big tubers. That one's got shoots going up and down, which is a bit strange, but he can go in. And I'm just gonna space three, three per container. And I think that's gonna be plenty I mean, a couple would, would probably do, but I'll just, I'll try three and just see what happens. So you're just evenly spaced. Big knobbly one. So there we go. So the other artichokes that, because I, I need to clear the bed. So the other artichokes, unfortunately, I've probably got 80, 90 kilos left. Um, they are going to end up just going in the in the compost because nobody else wants to eat them. So it's a shame, but you know, it's, it still all adds to my compost. So nothing gets wasted. But I just won't do them on that scale again. So all I'm going to do then is just gently top these up and I'll fill them to about an inch from the top so that I can get a, 
a good bit of water on there in the summer when I'm watering them and I am going to do an automatic watering system uh, for my beans with the soaker hose here so I, I may actually take a little spur off with a dripper into each of these pots possibly just to um, make it a bit easier for me so I'll just cover these because I'm not going to have quite enough compost to fill up all the pots but it'd just be interesting to see if they do as well in these pots and I will feed them with some liquid feeds my homemade liquid feeds um, and just see how they do I just think they did so much better this year uh, well last year sorry um, compared to the normal site which is a bit dry and I only ever mulch them with a bit of wood chip um, so that obviously the better sort of nutrients and ground you can give them the bigger tubers and the more tubers you will get so I'm hoping in these pots I'll get some nice big tubers and hopefully a fairly decent yield but it should be enough for me anyway so I'm going to go and get another barrow and just top these up and uh, we'll see how they do I will obviously show it again in the summer see how well they've done and I'll show you the harvest see how it compares to how they did in the bed but um, anyway quick little video on juice from artichokes take it easy guys and we will see you next time